Introducing first the fighter to my right, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. She stands five feet four inches tall and weighed in at 115 pounds. Representing Intercept MMA, Alyssa Lightning Landuska. And her opponent to my left, fighting out of the Triton Fund's red corner. Stands five feet five inches tall, weighed in at 115 pounds. Representing Carlson Gracie, Northern Kentucky. Give it up for Kelsey Hildahl. So Kelsey uh, is a purple belt, six years training. Um, and she's got a twin sister that decided to uh, be a yoga instructor. Nice. A little so, different. You know, that, um, you know I, I think the gym is a very big part of her life. Man, um, this was definitely one of the fights we talked about and we're very yeah. excited to watch. A lot of experience between these two groups. Wow. Go for this arm bar right away. You know, you, when you got a purple belt on the ground with you, you've got to be... Um, Oh, ooh. Kinda, kinda almost, wait almost got a knee. She's just kind of manly wow. on her opponent right now. Is... I'm telling you, she comes out like a savage. Well, Kelsey Hildahl wants that finish early. Is she going to burn out, though? I mean, she, Alyssa's got to do something right now. She's going to continue to get punched right now. She's got to stop this onslaught yeah. right, right now. I agree. I mean, she's, she seems to be a little overwhelmed right now. She's trying to go for some positions, trying to trying to slow this pace right down. She's going to have to find her rhythm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no, and, and, uh, Alyssa's going to have to find her rhythm. And, and, when I've, and when I've seen, you know, Kelsey before, that's what she, she jumps on people right away. Yeah. And, you know, and Kelsey spot. right now, what she's doing, she's just she's getting her, her breath. Kelly right now looking for good positions to land strikes. I think that's something a lot of people don't do right. And when they do jiu-jitsu, are they grappling? They, they always think position first, but they don't think about getting punched in the face. So you get a person in the bad spot, you punch them and make them think, oh, this isn't what I'm used to. Yeah, Kelsey also has taken a lot of fights outside of her weight class, which is kind of a, a reoccurring theme yeah. with the uh, you know, female mixed martial arts. So Kelsey, you know, Kelsey's got to slow the pace down, or Alyssa has got to slow the pace down a little bit, and uh, she's got to catch her rhythm. I, I, I see some swelling on the uh, right eye of Alyssa already. I can't, I can't see it from this angle. but What we have seen thus far is Kelsey Hildahl really went for the finish early, but she is maintaining the top position. Alyssa now has a, is working a guard. Let's see what Kelsey can do. You know, something like this, the referee you should probably step in between. Oh, and either, no, I want to see, see how this plays out. You can't be out. stealing time like this. The referee should... Oh, wow. oh, see, that's, that's why. <laughs> she was waiting for it. Just waiting for it to yeah, get Yeah, Kelsey was waiting for yeah. that. Now she's got her in a bad spot right now. Yeah, this is going to take some deep breaths, you know, kind of catch her rhythm. And now Kelsey is getting a little high run. If she could grab her head, that's what she's trying to grab the head and pull her under, end up on top. So this is now, she's got to turn into yep. Kelsey. See how she has her legs positioned right now. She's trying to get her left leg on the other side. Oh, now she's in a bad position. Yeah, she's now she's flat out. Now yeah, this is a terrible is position. Flat. Right 30 seconds left. You cannot stay Kelsey flat. And this is where finish. Kelsey likes to be, just on top, raining down punches. So let's, um, I, I'd like to kind of see I know she's just what happens in the second up, round. Yeah. Ready, ready for a punch right now. Now this is, ta or, uh, Kelsey's taking her time. Wow, connected with that head kick. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, my, advice to, Alyssa, my, my advice to Alyssa is when you're on your back, let the referee step in. <laughs> don't, don't get up on your own. Don't, 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 I mean, when you're on your back no. and, and Kelsey's standing up, let the referee say, all right, stand up. Because Could, couldn't agree more. Yeah, uh, Kelsey's taking advantage of it every single time. There's a replay right there. Watch a big right hand, I believe, is going to come. Hey, oh, good it, kick to the face right there. Just waited, too. Th that, that fight, that round, 100% Kelsey. I don't know about a 10-8, but that's as close as you get. Yeah, uh, uh, Alyssa needs it, like you said. She needs to regroup right now. Said, okay, that round's over. What am I going to do now? You got you to gotta, you gotta get rid of that round in your head. This is a new round. This is a new fight. Yeah, you got a new start right now. Let's, let's make the best of it. Fresh you start. Know, new round, new you. You know, I, I loved it when I was in Iowa. We had the bare knuckle fight. Uh, they did the live scoring where in between each round, they tell each person. Was it Iowa was or was it Kansas City? It was a 
Missouri. You're right. You're right. Missouri. I felt that was Kansas City. We were just in Iowa a few weeks ago for a fight, Chris. Well, I'm getting all confused. <laughs> you know? I'm going to say I'm going to say it was in Kentucky next time. But so we're going to see what kind of game plan. You know, the, the interesting thing is um, Kelsey's standing. She never, she didn't even take the stool in, and you got Alyssa. You know, that's taking advice from Danny Summers, and um, she's you know, and she's she's being communicative. So they they got a math problem, and they're they're trying to figure out the solution. She looks a little perplexed right well, now. Let's see perplexed, if we can figure out. Look at her. She's shaking her head yes, like yeah, yeah. Okay, like, I got, this. got good. I yeah, got this. she got good. She got good advice. You had Cat Fetters in the corner of Kelsey Hildall. What do you think she's telling Kelsey? I'd say keep doing the same thing. Yeah, I mean, what? Is he? Just keep going. Yeah. yeah. Try to get a finish. Be, be smart. Yeah. He'll jump on her. You know, be aggressive. Come forward once again. I don't know if, I'd almost like to see Alyssa maybe rip some kicks to the body, too. And Kelsey just keeps coming forward relentless. That should wow. be her nickname. Lightning is not. No, what is her nickname right here? <sighs> Doesn't have a nickname. Uh, I, I think relentless would be a great one. Yeah, if I'm a, if, if I'm Alyssa, I'm getting on my toes and I'm meeting those punches with counters, like head on, rather than backing up and throwing. Uh, she did. That's exactly what she should be doing right there. It's trying to get this takedown, get on top yeah. for a little bit. And uh oh, get, oh, but she's got a hell of a guillotine. Yeah, Kelsey, look at the she's squeezing she is hard right squeezing. now. But I don't think she's going to get it right now. Half she's guard guillotine isn't as common. No, especially when you got that right arm. Over the top for a minute. It's not going to be easy to get now. She's got to be careful. She can get Vaughn Flute from this position. I'd say, well, Kelsey is a rough customer. <laughs> she came to fight. Yeah. She always does. <laughs> Eating some, some needs of the body right now. Yeah. We, we, uh, now, Alyssa, now, what we were talking about, she's got to find her rhythm. Yeah. She's got to get the cadence. That's down. what she's doing right and now. And that's what she's doing right now. She's slowing the fight down. Yep. She got top position. You know what? I, I think that was probably the advice of Danny Summers in her corner. Just, you know, put her on her back. You've been in every position except on top. She's got to be careful. See, uh, Kelsey still is holding on to that guillotine, which is a great way to get Von Flood. I, I, I think it's also a good way to burn your arm out. Well, even if she's not really utilizing it right now, and she's we not have got a full mount. Well, I don't know about a full mount, but she is. She's close. Yeah, she it's close. <laughs> she had it. Like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and, you know, we're. You know, we could, we're about a minute 50 in, and right now you can sit here and honestly say that Alyssa is kind of nickel and diming this round. Oh, absolutely. She's, she's kind of clearly dominating this round. How much did Hildall d dominate the first round? That was, that was very, very. I, I don't know if it was 10-8. That's what I'm asking. But, I mean, but what are we that, looking at here? That judge might be scratching his head about that. And, and, you know, Alyssa right now, she's just kind of nickel and diming the round. She's okay. not really imposing her will. But she's, she's the only one landing anything. She's landing some good knees right there. Chris, do you think there's any way one of the judges could have given Kelsey the a ten first eight round? 10-8 round? 10-8. I, I could see one of them. I would be surprised if many of them did. I mean, okay. technically, I think when you look at it in the new ruling, uh, duration and damage, they could have. I don't think they, they don't really give that as much anymore as uh, are, are yet as they, I think they will in the future and as they should. As they should. So you think it should be given more? Absolutely, because you have, let's say, let's say, the next round, like, you know, Kelsey loses two close rounds but dominates a, the first round. I, I don't know. I think that, that it, it should have a little bit more. If you barely lose two rounds but you dominate one, I think that should be more of a draw. So absent of a 10-8 <sighs> round, a three round one fight round. is so hard to give out a 10-8 unless there's something, like, spectacular. Happening. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a merited right there, no, but I think if you knock a guy down and, and, you're, and you're dominating them and, and they're right. almost submitting him, I think you deserve <laughs> more than if you eke out a very close round. Well, well, here. Now, Kelly, let's look at it. Now, the deep breaths coming out of, uh, you know, coming out of Kelsey. Uh, she, she's breathing hard and still refusing to stool. She said she runs every day. Kelsey runs every single day. I believe that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's someone that's not lying to you about it. No, no. She's a, uh, so, a long-distance runner, maybe a sprinter. So, so now what's Danny? What, what, what type of advice is, is Alyssa getting? Oh, Alyssa, if I'm her coach, I'm saying take her to the ground and keep her there the entire time. Try yeah. to get that top position. Get top <laughs> position. She gets that top position. This she's out. winning this fight. Yeah, get grind this fight out. And Easier this, said this than done. Sometimes. Yeah, this has not been an easy fight for her. No. Well, you know, she definitely has to try and work to get top position. If she can get that, I think she saw what she could do right there. She's going to get in a dominant position. She's going to get earn the victory. If, if, if she fights Kelsey's game, she's going to lose. Can't ask for much more than headed into the third round. It's tied eight. at one apiece. Yep, tied at one apiece. 
you know, like, if you look at uh, Kelsey, she's receiving advice. And if you look at Alyssa, they're exchanging ideas. Like, in, in my opinion, to be conversational in the corner is super important. Hmm. You know, it's one thing asking, you know, four ideas. It's another thing, wait, what about this? I mean, what about that? Look at this. Alyssa's corner left about 30 seconds ago. He must be used to the one-minute round. Right? <laughs> oh, so nah, I'm out. That's all I got for you. See ya. See, I mean, it was a masterful second round. I mean, I, I, I think Kelsey might be the better yeah. fighter. But as far as I'm concerned, this, this fight is, is one-to-one. Oh, I think it's very clear. <laughs> wow. wow. What a fight. Yeah, Alyssa doing, really stepping up her second. After that first round, thing, that was a wake-up call. You know, she got on her toes, stepped forward with the exchanges rather than backward. And during those exchanges where they were both throwing, Alyssa was landing, and Kelsey was just kind of kind of grazing Alyssa. And, and Kelsey hits hard. Yeah. You know, I, I have a feeling Alyssa is going to shoot for a takedown. Because that would be the smart move. You Absolutely. Know, you got Kelsey up against the fence. Yeah. You know, she's kind of limited with uh, with her hips. Well, and, and you know, there you don't you necessarily go. have to shoot in for a take. You drop in for a takedown. Yes. It's much easier than a shot. A lot less uh, risk. If you don't get it, fine. You're right back in the upper body. But if you shoot and you don't get it, you're trapped. This is a chess match right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is. Alyssa gets this takedown. She wins a fight. So often in these female MMA fights, the fans love it. And they're on the edge of their chairs, and myself included. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm guilty, too. I love it. Oh, wow. Kelsey wow. just coming in with her hands down. Look at her hands right See, what away. Alyssa's doing is she's staying on her toes, and she's committing to the exchange. Yep. She, can't, she can't be leaning back and throwing punches. Uh, uh, she's got to go head on and meet the exchange with hers because she's throwing a crisper punch. It's just not as hard. Who's, who are you talking about? That right I'm here? talking about Alyssa. Alyssa, yeah. yeah. No, she, she's well, yeah, that first round was very hard for her. She's staying very technically sound right there where, where Kelsey's like winging punches from her hip. you know. So and, I, and that's a difficult like posture to have, especially when a girl that's throwing punches against you could probably knock you out because she throws such a, you know, a hard punch. I heard punches. Well, uh, a lot of if you can lock those hands again, look how close her fingers were to getting locked together. If you can lock it up, you're definitely getting this egg. There down. it is. And now she has to worry about this guillotine. Goes right. If she can lock the hands underneath the hips, that's going to be a takedown. But, you know, Kelsey's doing a great job of defending that. 45 seconds left. Alyssa's going to have to do something right here. She, she, well, I think you think it's Kelsey's it's round? I you know what, what? Why not just be definitive in it? I, I think that's. I, th I think I think Alyssa's done a little bit more this round. She's staying offensive right now. Look, a little stuff like this. Little, even if they're not too much damage, they're doing more than Kelsey's doing. Ooh. What it looks like is we're going to head to the judges' scorecards. We're not going to know what's going to happen. And oh, that takedown. With oh. 18 seconds left in that takedown, Alyssa just won that round. And, okay. you know, I, I'm not saying she lost the round up to this point, but she just made a definitive statement. And Absolutely. Something like that is just grit. She dug in and got the takedown. I'll be Very honest impressive. with you. After that first round, I didn't, I didn't know if she was going to have it in to come back and win. I think I, she did. I, I completely agree with you. Very, great, great imp fight. very impressive cornering and coaching from Summers yeah. and uh, by Alyssa and her team. The adjustments. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I think in, that was uh, in a fight game adjustments. Of, yeah, a game of Jones. That, uh, the adjustments were fantastic. It, it, you know, and the punching, like uh, the way Alyssa just kind of dug in, which is what we said, instead of going back on your heels, staying on the balls of your feet and leaning forward rather than counter walking back, uh, that absolutely won the fight for her. Well, we shall see. In my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could, you know, I mean, if, if you know, Danny and crew pull this off, um, you know, they had a two-in-one night tonight. Yeah, pretty impressive. And Oscar, uh, a very good performance regardless. Oh, I thought he looked great. Yeah, I thought he looked good too. So we're going to make this official, in theory. Oh, Waiting on the judges' scorecards. As we said, this, I, this is kind of You know, of whenever well, there's an issue, whenever there's a delay like that, it reeks of a 10-8 round <laughs> somewhere given. Or a split decision somewhere. Yeah. Something's coming. Right. Nobody in the crowd is disappointed with the action from that fight. No. No. 
Yeah, it's a 115-pound weight class. Um, very impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Out of both fighters. Abs I, absolutely. Yes. Great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to a decision. All three judges score the fight 29 to 28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Alyssa Lynn wow. Jessica. What a recovery after that first round.